It is just the gloomiest day outside, but this video is time sensitive, so I must film. Okay. Hello everyone, so the Xmas Booktubeathon is officially ended and I am here to bring you my wrap up to tell you how things went for me. Things went pretty well actually. Uh, I didn't have to work Friday or Saturday, I had to work uh, for a bit on Sunday, but I still got some reading in. Uh, Friday, I ended up hanging out with a friend that I hadn't seen in about four months. So I didn't start reading until late afternoon, but I picked up uh, four by Veronica Roth because I figured that'd be a really good one to start with. I, I knew it was fast paced. I know her writing style. Yeah, it worked out well for me. I, I read like 120 pages or so and uh, finished it up on Saturday morning. So I read a total of 285 pages in this book uh, to kick things off. And I, I loved it. It was kind of bringing me back to Divergent and how I felt when I was reading that book because I really loved Divergent. Not so much Insurgent and Allegiant, but Divergent was awesome. And this book had that same feel to it because it takes place before the events in Divergent and then sort of crisscrosses it a little bit. And it was just so interesting to me to see from Forrest's perspective and it was just fun and it was a gripping read and I'm just really glad I picked it up. If you have this book and you're debating, Reading it, read it. After I finished four, I picked up The House I Loved by Tatiana de Rosne just because uh, I knew that this was another sort of faster read than the, uh, the other book that I uh, was currently reading bef before the Booktubeathon started. This one uh, I started Saturday evening and then read uh, into Sunday as well. This one was a little bit shorter at 222 pages, but it was a completely different story from four, so it was kind of nice to balance that out. It was still pretty fast paced though, just the way the writing was done, it was like reading letters almost, so it was pretty, it was pretty quick to get through, and I learned some interesting stuff about Parisian history, things that I never knew, so I appreciate that. This book isn't for everyone. If you're into historical fiction or Paris, you might like it. I mean, it focuses on an elderly woman, so it's not really, it, geared towards our age group, but it still was a beautiful story to read and there was a couple really surprising moments at the end. Tatiana Drosne is really good at that, she's really good at weaving this really nice story and then just throwing some curveballs at you at the last moment, so that's really what actually made me excited to read this was knowing that that was probably going to happen, and it did, so that was good. So I won't shout from the rooftops to read this one, but it does if it does sound like it's got a couple points that might interest you, Feel free to pick it up. And then lastly, the third book that I had stored away was The Magic Trick by Levi Stack. I had read about 30 pages of this prior to the Booktubeathon, and I read about 40 more during it. This just isn't one of those books that I feel myself speeding through, whereas with the other two books, I could just tear through the pages. This one, I feel like I need to take more time with it. It just isn't written in that style that suits you know, one level below speed reading for a booktubeathon. This will probably be the last book I read this year. I still have quite, you know, a bit to go, and that'll probably take me to the new year, so we'll see. So my page count for this booktubeathon with 285 plus 222 plus roughly 40, 547 pages, which I'm quite happy with. I'm glad I was able to finish two more books. I've already beat my Goodreads challenge, but it's always nice to stack on a couple more, deplete that TBR pile, and prep for the books that I will probably receive for Christmas, or at least buy with gift cards that I receive for Christmas. Let me know how your Xmas Booktubeathon went down in the comments below. As always, all of our links are in the doobly-doo. Check those out if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you later.